Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our winter orchestra concert. We've uh, really enjoyed our music season this year. We've had choral ensembles and band en ensembles, and um, our orchestra ensemble is ready and rearing to go. We're excited to have a joint uh, program with John Wallace Middle School to bring our, our music ensembles together. Uh, they've been working very hard independently and have come together to put their music and share uh, their talents with each other, and we're very excited to uh, share this presentation with you. My name is Jason Lambert. For those of you that I have not had the pleasure of meeting, I'm the principal of Martin Kellogg Middle School. And uh, just a couple of logistic items before we get going. If you notice at the rear of the auditorium, there are exit signs uh, to the rear and then to the sides in the event that we do need to evacuate uh, the, the uh, auditorium, but hopefully that will obviously not be the case. And um, we're very excited to present tonight's program, but before we get into it, I'd be remiss um, if you have not heard yet, our music program in Newington was rec uh, recently recognized by the um, National Association of Music Merchants. It's called NAM. It's a nationally, um, uh, it's a, a program and a group of music educators and affiliates that have named the Newington Public Schools as having an exemplary music program feeding up from elementary to high school, and I want to extend congratulations to our orchestra director, Mrs. Polizonis, for being part of that. And, Mr. and our friends from uh, John Wallace as well, um, that uh, their music program has um, continued to feed uh, Newington High School with some outstanding musicians. So without further ado, I'm very uh, excited to introduce our fifth grade orchestra ensemble, and that will be introduced by our music director, Mrs. Polizonis. Thank you, Mr. Lambert, and good evening, everybody. For those of you I haven't had the opportunity to meet in person yet, my name is Mary Polizonis, and I'm the orchestra director at Martin Kellogg Middle School, John Wallace Middle School, and I teach some lessons over at John Patterson School. Um, I would like to introduce you to our fifth grade orchestra, and most of these students began playing in fourth grade, and we are learning a little bit more in fifth grade about how to be a little differently independent with playing parts, so some of the music that you're going to be hearing has five different parts to it, so that's kind of exciting for us. We're also learning a lot about playing in a large group, uh, probably larger than the elementary school orchestras were because we are all four combined. So just a little show of hands or raising of bows, fifth grade orchestra. How many of you went to elementary school at John Patterson? Okay, thank you, you can put your bows down. How many of you went to school at Ruth Chafee? Okay, quite a few of you, thank you. How many of you went to school at Anna Reynolds? Okay, thank you. And Elizabeth Green students? Okay, now did any of you go to fourth grade in another school, maybe not in Newington? Because sometimes we get a few students who move from other districts and join us in fifth grade. Okay, um, one more question. In our orchestra in fifth grade, are any students right now that are sitting out here either new to the instrument that you are playing tonight, and this is your first concert on your new instrument, or brand new all together to the ensemble. Could we have a little raise of bows for that? A few of you. Okay, very good. Thank you, everybody. Okay, so you've learned a little bit about our program, and now I'm going to turn it over to our students who are going to introduce our music and tell you a little bit about what we're learning this year. Good evening, everyone. My name is Tim, and I'm a student at John Wallace. My, my name is Isabel, and I'm a student at Martin Kellogg. We would like to welcome you to our work, winter orchestra concert. Before we begin, please take a moment to silence your electronic devices, including your cell phones, including your cell phones. Our performers have worked hard, and we don't want to, them to get distracted. Also, please take a moment to notice the closest exit in case of an emergency. 
We hope you enjoy the concert. My name is Joseph Grimvalski, and I'm a student at JWMS. Our first song is called Rustic Dance, and it was composed in 2000 by Mark Williams. Some of our instruments get to play double stops. Double stops happen when music tells you to play two, two different notes at the same time. This was a challenge for our orchestra members and will be played by a smaller group of students.
from Martin Talal Mirosu. Our next song will be, be played by our full fifth grade orchestra. It is called Majestic March. It was composed by, it was composed in 20, 2016 by Paul Lavender. All of the instrument sections in our orchestra have a turn to play the melody. My name is Leia, and I am a student at John Wallace Middle School. We hope you enjoy our portion of, portion of the concert. When we finish playing Majestic March, there will be a brief pause while the fifth grade orchestra leaves the stage, and the fifth, sixth grade orchestra gets ready to perform for you.
You're going to sit here on the end. Sixth graders in row two, come on up.
My name is Haley, and I'm a student at John Wallace Middle School. This is our sixth grade orchestra. Most of our orchestra members are third year players. In sixth grade, we are starting to learn how to tune our own instruments using our fine tuners. We also begin study we all we also begin studying new time signatures such as three fourths time as well as moving away from the D major to start playing in other keys. My name is Marissa. I'm a student at Middle, Martin Kellogg Middle School. We have some fifth graders who passed all their playing assessments early, and we and we're invited to join our sixth grade orchestra for our next piece. These fifth grade students mostly practice this piece on their own with some coaching with Ms. Palazonas. They join the sixth grade orchestra for our rehearsal. We are going to invite those students to join us on stage now. My name is Charlotte, and I am a student at John Wallace Middle School. We have some fifth graders who passed all of their playing assessments early and were invited to join our sixth grade orchestra for our next piece. These sixth graders, great students, mostly practice this piece on their own with orchestra for a rehearsal. We are going to invite the students to join us on stage now. Our first piece is called Kalimba Lullaby. It was written in 2013 by Lauren Bernofsky. A kalimba is related to an instrument from the country of Zimbabwe called an imbira. An imbira is sometimes called a thumb piano. Kalimba Lullaby is written to, play, to be played pizzicato to try and imitate the sound of this African instrument. We hope you enjoy it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, our fifth graders are exiting the stage and putting things away and going back to join their families. I'm gonna spend just a minute or, or so saying a few things about this sixth grade orchestra because we had a little discussion during rehearsal a few days ago about how for this particular group of students, starting to play was not necessarily the easiest thing because they joined orchestra and started playing, many of them, when we were learning in a hybrid model. And we had that conversation about how it wasn't always easy to maybe not have lessons on a consistent weekly basis, or maybe it wasn't so easy to have to have a, an ensemble group where you had three or four kids instead of a full group to try to have orchestra class. But through all of that, these students persevered, and they are just about where they should be right now. In fact, we've had some very exciting news about some of our sixth grade orchestra members over the past week and a half or so that I'm gonna share with the audience uh, tonight. The Connecticut Music Educators Association is sponsoring two different festivals during the month of March. One of them is called an Elementary Honors Festival. And there's a chorus, and there's a band, and there's an orchestra that are associated with that festival. And the students who were selected for that festival are going to be performing at the Connecticut Music Educators Association annual conference, which will be held in Hartford at the convention center in, in the end of March. And we had four of our students in the sixth grade orchestra who were selected for that ensemble. And those four students are, well, let's see, we have Isabella D was selected for that ensemble on violin. Julia H was selected for that ensemble on violin. Jason was selected on viola. And Charlotte was selected on violin. So we are going to be sending four students to that group. So I know I'm really embarrassing you now, but would you stand up, please? In addition to the Elementary Honors Festival that we have students who are going to be um, representing our schools, we also have, through Connecticut Music Educators Association, something that's called Regional Festival. So if you think about a map of Connecticut, the northern region would be the upper left-hand corner of the state. And that is open to sixth, seventh, and eighth graders by audition. And it's a pretty rigorous audition process. The students have to memorize scales for orchestra. They have to learn a solo piece for orchestra. And they have to sight read. And this year, we had a record number of students in both sixth grade and seventh grade who tried out for Northern Regionals. And one of our orchestra members in sixth grade has been selected to participate in that festival, which is also going to be held in the month of March. Zakai, would you stand up? So I am really, really proud of the accomplishments of these students this year, and actually of all of our students, but some of them in particular because they're going to be representing us so nicely next month. All right, um, I'm going to turn our, our program back over to the students now. So we have our final our other students. Hi, my name is Isabella, and I'm a student at Martin Kellogg Middle School. Our next piece is called Skitter's Waltz, and it's a traditional orchestra song from the Romantic era and music. It was originally written in 1882 by Emil Wadolfo. <clears throat> this piece was inspired when the composer was in Paris watching people ice skate on a winter's day.
My name is Odin, and I am a student at John Wallace Middle School. We will finish our portion of tonight's concert with a piece called Airplane. It was written in 2012 by Michael Hopkins. It was written to describe a flight and has sections with titles that include Leaving the Gate, In the Air, Snack Time, uh, Turbulence, Cruising Altitude, Descent, and Landing. Hi, my name is Julia Hinton, and I'm a student at Martin Kellogg Middle School. We encourage you to use your imagination to try and hear these different parts of our flight while we play our last song. When we have landed safely at our destination, there will be a brief pause while we exit the plane. Oops, I mean the stage. And the seventh and eighth graders get ready to perform for you.
seventh and eighth graders in row one. Come on up. All right, if you were in row two and you're in seventh and eighth grade orchestra, come join us on stage. We're good. She's going to be good. It should be. Just double check, Taylor, because you keep sitting well. All right. What can I do for you? Would you be okay? You're going to sit in the middle. Would it be okay, Nicole? You were in the first row, so come sit up. Alex, you're right. Nicole, are you comfortable if we take it and just put it over here, Nicole? Row three, seventh and eighth graders, please come join us up on stage. And there is a pretty copper-colored hoop earring. If this belongs to somebody, please come see me when the concert's over. I have it up here. Thank you.
My name is Alexandra Okamura, and I'm a student at Marin Kellogg. This is our 7th and 8th grade orchestra. Our 7th and 8th grade orchestra has worked hard this year in many areas. We have been working on learning to read and perform quite a variety of music styles. We are learning more about tuning our instruments and moving and tuning our pegs. We are also learning about shifting to new positions of our instruments, which allow us not only to play higher notes, but also to make some fingering pads easier. My name is Shari. I am a student at John Wallace Middle School. We have some sixth graders who passed all of their playing assessments early and were invited to join our seventh and eighth grade orchestra for our next piece. These sixth graders mostly practice this piece on their own with some coaching from Mrs. Paul Zonis. They joined the seventh and eighth grade orchestra for a rehearsal. We are, we are going to invite those students to join us on stage now. We are going to begin our portion of tonight's concert with a piece called Contradance. It was composed by Larry Clark. There are three main melodies used in this piece. Sometimes they are changed a little as they are repeated. My name is Finn. I am a student at John Wallace Middle School. My name is Luke. I am a student at John Wallace Middle School. We will play the three melodies for you first so you know what to listen for as these melodies change throughout the piece. Here's the first melody. You will hear part of that first melody played by the cello and bass near the end of the piece. When we get there, when we get to that spot, you will hear the melody played lower and at half speed using augmented rhythms. Now, here is the second melody. You will hear it introduced by the lower strings near the middle of the piece. And here is the third melody. Near the end of the piece, you will hear the upper strings play part of the, this melody while the lower strings answer with part of the first melody. Now that we have, intru well, now that we have intru introduced to you the melodies, we will play contradance for you.
while our sixth graders are getting ready to leave the stage and go rejoin their families, I would just like to take a quick minute to thank everybody for their support and for coming out tonight to support live music again in our schools and to support our orchestra program specifically. It really did take an entire town to get this concert to, uh, together tonight, and I am very, very thankful, not only for my colleagues at Wallace and Kellogg, but also for just people within the town, also the colleagues at the high school who helped and, and let us use this beautiful auditorium for our concert tonight, which is going to be your home when you're in high school. This is gonna be your auditorium where you're gonna play your concerts. So it's kind of really special that we get to play here tonight. And the, um, within the town, we had to work with transportation to get the, all the field trips together so that we could rehearse together, and the town maintenance department to get all of our equipment here tonight. That was two trips with a box truck for all the violins and violas and cellos and the racks that they came on and, and the basses and everything else. So we're, we're very appreciative. Uh, the high school, uh, the Tri-M students who came to help us tune instruments before the concert and, and help us set up with everything, and also for running the sound and the lights and, and doing the live stream tonight. So thank you to everybody for that. And before I forget, speaking of the high school and the beautiful facility and all the help we received from the high school to put on this concert, we have an amazing music program here at Newington High School. So eighth graders, you are better going to be participating in it next year, right? We're going to sign up for orchestra or the combo class with the chorus for people who enjoy singing as well. All right, students, mostly of all, I'd like to thank you for all of your hard work and your perseverance and, and for uh, just being great people to work with. I really do enjoy this group of students, especially this year. It's a great, great group to work with, so thank you very much. All right, I'm going to turn it back over to our student readers now so they can tell you a little bit about our next piece. My name is Laura, and I'm a student at John Wallace. My name is Madeline, and I'm a student at John Wallace. Our next piece is called Bumps in the Night, and it was written in 2022 by Bud Woodruff. According to the program notes and the score, the inspiration for this piece came from tales about a cave on Mr. Woodruff's neighbor's land. Mr. Woodruff was thinking about his own experiences in caves where the lights went out and he couldn't see his hand in front of his face. He said he, couldn't, he could hear all kinds of sounds and anything that touched him, even just a breeze, styled him. Mr. Woodruff was also inspired by the times in the past when he heard strange noises while he was lying in bed, like something bumped a wall somewhere in his house. He ends his program notes with these words, I have attempted to musically capture a walk in the dark where you sense a presence walking along behind you, unseen but surely felt, leaving as the only evidence of his presence those bumps in the night.
My name is Cecilia Malinowski. I'm a student at Martin Kellogg Middle School. My name is Adeline Germain. I'm a student at Martin Kellogg Middle School. Our last piece is called Rainforest Sketches. It was composed in 2007 by an Australian composer, Stephen Chin. This piece is three contrasting sections or movements. Each one is about something you might see in the rainforest. The first movement is called Leaping Frogs, and it is entirely pizzicato. The second movement is called Creeping Vines, and it is written in a minor key and is to be played in a very smooth and connected style. The third movement, the third movement is called Fun at the Falls, and it is written in cut time. It uses both regular pizzicato and fourth finger pizzicato techniques. We will perform all three movements without interruption. Thank you for coming to our concert. We hope you will be able to join us for our spring orchestra concert. Have a good night. Thank you. 